see if this works. I think that works. Although I am now aware that there are two lives, it would appear on my page. Cool. <laughs> right, let's see if we can rectify this real quick. Hey, the joys, the joys of technical issues. <laughs> cool, so hopefully this works. <laughs> You're working right, cool, can you hear me? <laughs> I've got the little microphone set up here on the curtain, you can just about see them. And um, I'm hoping that the sound from those is a lot better than the sound from the phone itself. Like hopefully it's a bit clearer. They're not great microphones. That's good then. And there's been a little technical issue. I had to cancel the first live stream because it froze and I couldn't get it to work. So I have started a new live stream but I'm aware that the other live stream is also looking like it's appearing on my on my page um so hopefully everyone comes to the right one and doesn't like go to the go to the other one <laughs> cool oh it's nice to see you all chatting we've got about five minutes to have a little chat um wherever you are though if you're joining in live then cool, welcome. <laughs> if you're joining in the future when this video is uploaded and not live anymore, um, I will, oh, I can hear myself. I will put a link in the description below to a time scale where the practice actually begins so that you're not watching me waffle onto you guys, waiting for you all to arrive. Um, so yeah. If you are live and you are here, uh, let us know where you're from. Let us know whether you're joining in. I know I've got a lot of van people on here. So let us know if you're joining in from a van or let us know if you're joining in from a house or whether you're in your bedroom or your living room or where in the world you are. Um, yeah, so all you'll need is a sofa or a bed, the edge of a bed or a bench I've got three chairs here, this is my makeshift sofa. You're probably gonna want, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a makeshift sofa like mine, you're probably gonna want the chairs against a wall just in case they topple over or anything. We don't want anything crazy going on. And also you want a, a little bit of room either side you, so if we um, do any sideways stuff that you've just got something to lean on. And um, also we'll be doing some like wide-legged things. So just making sure you've got enough space. The Isle of Wight, oh my goodness. <laughs> People from all over, cool. Are you guys all um, on lockdown in Isle of Wight as well? If you, um, or are you guys not affected yet? I could do a wash in my hair, but um, here we are. <laughs> Who have we got, what have we got? Nice. I am just going to share this link real quick with my on my Facebook so that people can join in from there if they want to. I know a few people said they were interested, so um, I'll just remind them on real quick. Hopefully this 
um, this connection holds out. I, the internet we have here is relatively new, um, but let's hope it. It's been good the last few live streams, right? So let's just touch some wood and not jinx that. <laughs> got any excuses now <laughs> the link is there <laughs> cool where was we right I can see a chat again on a 10 day lockdown only 10 days I don't think here on like the mainland I mean I'm not really up to date with the news I always have to go for my boyfriend and see <laughs> find out what's going on but um, as far as I'm aware that we haven't been given a time scale I think they, I think they initially said three weeks but I'm not sure if it will be three weeks, so we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I'll try and entertain you. Try and keep you entertained. Entertained and moving via the art of YouTube Live. my little plan so if you joined in Sophie yoga last time it'll be similar but I've tried to add in a few other things um, so I've been trying to think of ways that we can incorporate regular yoga poses but without really leaving the sofa so um, like warrior two and chair and goddess pose um, how we can think about what our uh, core's up to because when you sat down it's very easy just to let go of the core and just let it We'll hang out like a my boyfriend likes to call it the pudding <laughs> good <sighs> nice so we've got a few people so far that's good is anyone in a van is anyone in a van i'm aware that not everyone can use the chat but if you can use the chat let us know if you're in a van that'd be really cool <laughs> i'd love to have some van people doing some sofa yoga I was thinking about um, vans today. I'm always thinking about vans. <laughs> thinking about how nice it would be just to disappear <laughs> again. Cool. I really should tie this back. I'll tie it back in a second. Good. Yeah, so if you do miss this session or something happens with your computer or whatever, you can always watch it later because I will upload it. And um, and if you like it, you can enjoy it again. <laughs> Good, so it's half past. We'll give it a couple of minutes just to let anyone join who might be struggling. Hopefully you're all nice and comfy. You found yourself a, a nice comfy space. Um, we're going to try our best to be on the edge of the sofa throughout this so if, if you need to push your cushions back on your sofa or anything just to make sure you've got a nice firm bit under your bottom where you can sort of have a bit of space between um, the backs of your knees and the sofa so I've got like a I'd like to say a foot but I don't really know what a foot looks like <laughs> about half a meter or less just behind the backs of the knees. So hopefully you'll be able to see. Can't see too much of my arms here, which is a shame, but um, hey ho, you can't have everything. I did order a fisheye lens so that you could sort of get more in, in a small space, but um, that doesn't seem to have arrived because uh, maybe it's coming from China, I don't know. <laughs> But it's been a few, it's been like a week or two now and it's still not arrived, so I can only presume that it's um it's backed up somewhere. <laughs> but the microphones did come, so hopefully you can hear me. I do have some music on in the background as well, so maybe you can hear that too. Um but I'm just kinda hoping with the microphones it's less like we're in a tunnel, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sounds less like I'm talking down a bean can. 
Good. So we've got um, we've got a few people here now. So I think we're probably safe to begin. So I want to get rid of the iPad now. So if you do leave any comments in the comment section, I won't be able to read them because I'm going to get rid of the iPad. So. Oh, I don't know how to work these iPads. Nice. So let's start by getting ourselves nice and comfy on the edge of the sofa, on the edge of the bed, on the edge of the whatever we're sat on. Maybe you're sat on your doorstep for all I know. <laughs> Good, so if you can have the feet flat on the ground, have the feet flat on the ground. And I'd say to have the feet, you can have the toes touching or have them about a fist or two distance apart. Just take a couple of moments to lengthen a little bit through the spine here. So it's semi-relaxed, semi-engaged. Take a couple of seconds to roll the shoulders back and down. So there's a little bit of space between the ears and the, and the shoulders and the neck. Nice long neck. And just relaxing the face a little bit as you sit here. And having the arms anywhere that feels comfortable. I have mine in my lap with the palms facing up. You can have your hands or your palms anywhere that feels good. <clears throat> good. And so as you sit here for a moment, just start to notice how you feel. And so maybe you have feelings and thoughts going on in the mind. It's completely okay. Or maybe you've got feelings going on in the body. So just noticing what is happening in the mind and what is happening in the body in this moment, how you arrived without judging them, without trying to change them at this moment. And just simply bearing witness to your present state of being. Good, and then when you're ready, start to bring your awareness over into the breath. Notice how the breath is right now before you change it. Notice in the rhythm, the speed, the depth. Notice whether you're breathing through the nose or you're breathing through the mouth. Good. So when you're ready, we'll start to invite a little bit more breath, a little bit more air into the body. I'll just take a little sip of water there. Good. See if you can start to deepen the breath slightly on the inhales. <coughs> Sorry. And on the exhales. Starting to make the inhales as long as the exhales where you can. So in a moment, we're going to start to make some movements with the breath. So it's always important in the beginning, just to set a nice rhythm of breath that works for you. So when we do start moving with the breath, it's nice and smooth and nice and clean and even. And just in case you're wondering why we're all sat here, <laughs> doing these easy, slow breaths. Good. So when we're ready, nice and easy, we'll start to make those tiny movements with the breath, starting small and then gradually getting bigger as we move throughout the practice. 
So super easy, all we're going to do, we're going to inhale to roll the shoulders up and exhale to roll them down the back and back around, inhaling them up, exhaling them back and down. So keep going like that with the speed of your own breath. So maybe as you roll the shoulders back and down, you pull the shoulder blades together a little, just to squeeze them back and down. Good, you've got it, nice. Should feel quite nice around the neck, quite nice around the shoulder joints, quite nice around the back, the top of the back. Good, one more. And as you nestle them down, see if you can nestle them all the way down, lots of length between the ears and the shoulders. Good, so then we'll start to incorporate movements of the head, super easy. So all we're gonna do is pretend we've got a pencil or a piece of chalk on the end of the nose, and we're gonna make big circles, draw big circles in the air in front of us with the nose. So maybe you inhale over and exhale down and round. Again, moving with the speed of the breath. The breath is your dance partner. The breath is setting the rhythm, setting the pace of movement. So obviously if you're breathing super fast, like you've just been on a jog, the movements would be super fast. If you're breathing super slow, like you're in the middle of a deep sleep, the movements should be super slow. Good, and then when you're ready in the opposite direction, Again, inhaling over the top and exhaling down and round, making the, the circles as big as you'd like. Good, one more. Nice, you've got it. And then when you're ready, bringing the head back through center. Good, super easy so far. Should be feeling nice and warm around the neck, around the shoulders. Good, so when we're ready, we're gonna inhale. We're gonna reach the arms up overhead, so you're not gonna be able to see my hands here, they're just gonna cut off, that's fine. Place the palms together, and as you exhale, you're gonna bring the hands behind. So see if you can clasp the hands together here, interlace the fingers and clasp them together behind the back. We're gonna see if we can take those clasped hands over to the left-hand side of the body here. So you should just bring them around to the left-hand side, they're still clasped. So this is a nice way to stretch the neck here because we're going to lean the left ear over to the left shoulder and actively pull the right shoulder down. You should feel a nice stretch just underneath the ear and all the way down to the shoulder, the end of the shoulder there. So take deep breaths here, wherever you're feeling that tightness and see if you can exhale and allow that space to soften as much as you can. Good, you've got it, nice. A couple more big breaths. And then when you're ready, bring the head back through center. I'm gonna turn the nose now over to the left. So we're looking over the left shoulder and then we're bringing the nose down towards the shoulder. So you should feel the stretch down the side of the neck again, but in a slightly different place. Again, breathing into that space that's tight or tense. Good, one more big breath, you've got it. And then when you're ready, bring the head back through center. We're gonna swap sides with the hands. So bring the hands now over into the right hand side of the body, under the right ribs. And then when you're ready, making sure that both shoulders are nice and low here, we're gonna bring right ear down towards right shoulder, actively pulling the left hand shoulder away a little, just to get that stretch down the left hand side of the neck this time. So just noticing where exactly that stretch in the neck is, where you're feeling it from and to. So I in particular are getting it, I'm getting it, <laughs> from underneath the ear all the way down to, to just towards the tip of my shoulder, but you might be feeling it somewhere slightly different. But the idea is to be aware of where and how 
and also breathe, try and relax that tightness. One more big breath. Nice, so when you're ready, bringing the head back through center, turning the face to look over the right shoulder, and this time bringing the nose down towards the right shoulder. So similar stretch, same, same, but different, slightly different. <laughs> I was also thinking about Thailand today. <laughs> I miss Thailand so much. Good, so just being aware of where you're feeling that stretch now in the neck. Noticing how it feels, where it feels, and also breathing nice and deep to soften it off. Good, you've got it, nice. So when you're ready, you're gonna inhale back through center, you've got it, nice, good. And then release, give the arms a little shake and a wiggle if they need it. Good, so nice and easy now here. We're gonna see if we can take the hands to the shoulders. And we're gonna draw nice circles with the elbows. So nice and easy to begin with. Working our way down slowly. So when you're ready, making those circles with the shoulders. Making them as big as you like. Again, using the breath, you can inhale up and over. Exhale back and down. So really starting to open the chest as you pull the shoulders back and down, and then opening the back space as you pull the shoulders up and around. As you can imagine, you're anything here really. You could be a butterfly perhaps. <laughs> or you could just be sat in your chair doing arm circles. Good, you've got it, nice. And again, noticing where you're feeling it, how it's feeling, whether there's any crunchy, creaky bits. I know my left shoulder always gives me a little jip in this one, gives me a little pop, pop, whiz, squizzle. Good, you've got it. Then when you're ready, take it in the opposite direction. Again, finding a breath that works, a breath that matches. Good, you've got it, a few more. Might start to get a little bit achy. Good, and then when you're ready, you can release the shoulders, release the arms now. Good, you've got it, nice. So let's start to open up the sides of the body here now. So let's inhale, let's take the arms up overhead. You can't see my hands unfortunately, but I'm pressing the palms together. Good, see if you can take a little look here towards the thumbs. Making sure the hands are directly above the head if you can. Nice. And then when you're ready, as you exhale, you're gonna bring the right hand down to the right hand side, maybe slightly away from you. Take a big inhale to lengthen through that left hand side. And as you exhale, you're gonna lean over to the right. Oh, there it is, there's the hand. <laughs> Good, so you should feel a nice stretch here down the left hand side of the body. So you wanna imagine that you've got your only imagine that you've got your back against the wall. So what I mean by that is imagine that you're between two planes of glass. You're, you're not rounding forward here. And you're not rounding backwards. It's literally a stretch along the side of the body. The left arm is over the top of the, right si uh, the left side of the face. It should be open through each and every rib on this side and the little fleshy bit underneath the ribs. Lots of space between the the left shoulder here, the left ear, so we're not ruching it up like this and resting it on the head. Just hovering above the side of the face. Both buttocks grounded down through the sofa, through the bed, through the whatever you're on. <laughs> Good, nice. So when you're ready, you're gonna inhale center, bring the arms back up. And as you exhale, take it to the opposite side. So left hand comes down. And then when we're ready, inhale, lengthen through the right hand side, exhale, Lean it over to the left hand side. So making sure that right buttock stays down. Opening it up for the right hand side of the body. Maybe you put a little bend in the left elbow. Really reach in through that right hand. Good, you've got it nice. Couple of breaths, breathe into that open side of the body. Breathing in between the ribs, into that fleshy bit underneath the ribs.
Good, you got it, nice. One more big breath. And then when you're ready, inhale up. Exhale, release. Nice, good. So when we're ready, <clears throat> last little warm-up exercise, and then we'll move on to something a little bit more interesting. So from here, we're gonna take the hands around about to the knees, and we're gonna take little cat-cows, so it's super easy, this one, and it's always one of my favorites. I'll turn sideways just so you can see what's going on here. So as we inhale, all we're gonna do is drop the belly forward, lift the chin and chest. So nice arch in the back. And as we exhale, we push the spine backwards, and we bring the chin in towards the chest. So you're moving with the breath here. Keep going, inhaling for chest up, head up, arching the spine. And then exhaling for rounding the spine towards the back of the room, chin in towards the chest. So keep it going, making the movements as big or as exaggerated as you need to. Maybe they're only small movements, but the idea is that they should feel good. Warming up through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Mm. So I want I once went to a you know when you're at work and you have to go to these load bearing uh, courses, teach you how to lift boxes up. The guy who was teaching us, he came in with a packet of digestive biscuits and a load of marshmallows. And this was to represent the spine. So he'd, he'd stack these biscuit, marshmallow, biscuit, marshmallow, biscuit, marshmallow. He's like, this is your spine. And he was showing us how the discs um, reacted under pressure. So that was the marshmallows. And then I just was eating the marshmallows and the biscuits and, and paying zero attention. <laughs> Good though, I'll do that when we have a yoga class one time. I'll bring some marshmallows and biscuits in. <laughs> Delicious and educational. <laughs> My favorite. Good. So when you're ready, we're going to come back through center. Nice. So we should be ready now to do something a bit more fluid and movement, movement, movement orientated, as if we were not already. <laughs> Good. So we're going to do some seated sofa salutes. So um, when we do this on the floor, we do all like back bends and stuff. But I've devised a little way. And we can do this without even leaving the sofa. So we're gonna come into a sofa tadasana. So we're gonna have the feet, if they've drifted away, you're gonna have the feet either touching or about a fist distance or two apart. And just lift up all your toes and spread them out and place them onto the floor, onto the, onto the rug or whatever is beneath your feet. And see if you can ground down through all four corners of the feet here. So make sure you can feel a little bit of the ground underneath all the back edge of the foot and all the toes and the sides of the feet. Maybe not on the arches, arches are always kind of slightly lifted. And you've got your knees over your heels or your ankles. Good, and then when you're ready, see if you can lift the ribs out of the hips. So you're lifting the ribs away from the bottom and this should naturally sort of hollow out the belly it should naturally sort of engage the core so you want that slightly engaged here around the belly button and then when we're ready just making sure the shoulders are back and down good you've got it and stacking the head on top of the shoulders the chin is parallel with the ground good so we're going to take our hands we're going to take our backs up backs of the hands just to the front of the sofa here. So this is our sofa tadasana, our sofa mountain pose. Good. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to make some movements with the breath. So you're gonna inhale, raise the arms up overhead, press the palms together if you can. So here, see if you can look towards the thumb. So the hands are directly above the head. Try not to arch the back if you can help it. Yeah, looking up towards the thumbs. This is our Urdhva Hastasana. And as we exhale, we're gonna fold over the legs. So reach the arms out, we're gonna swan dive down. The belly, if we can, is gonna to touch the thighs and then maybe the ribs, and we hang out over the legs. So we're gonna do a little fold. Maybe you can't see me here, maybe I've just disappeared. <laughs> Good, so your hands should be touching the floor. If not, grab a hold of the shins or anywhere, anywhere else. But if you can, having the, the hands either side of the feet on the floor. So if you've got quite a high sofa, you might find that you've got to tiptoe a little bit here, just like me, but if you can have the feet flat on the floor, try that. 
So on our inhale, we're going to come up halfway. So try and keep the hands on the floor if the hands are on the floor. If the hands are on the shins, keep the hands on the shins. We're going to inhale, we're going to come up with the chin and chest. We're going to try and keep the belly on the thighs. So we're coming up halfway. And as we exhale, we're going to fold back over and relax the head and neck. And as we inhale, we're going to come all the way back up. So we sweep the arms out, up and overhead, and the hands touch in prayer above the head. Check out the forms. Exhale, we relax, and the hands come back in front of the sofa. Good. So we'll do that now without me having to break it down. So we inhale up. Look at the forms. Exhale to fold. Good. You've got it all the way down. Relax the head and neck as you arrive. Inhale to come up halfway, so just lifting the head and the, the, the chest, leaving the belly on the thighs. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Arms reach out overhead. Palms together. Exhale, sofa tadasana. Good, easy, right? So we're ready. Inhale, let's do it again. Arms up overhead. Press the palms together. Exhale, fold. Nearly yeah, just spilt my water. Inhale, halfway, keeping the belly on the thighs. You've got it nice. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Palms meet. Exhale, relax. Good, nice, right? Should we do one more? One more and then we'll move on and we'll do something a little bit more um, achy. <laughs> Inhale, bring it on up. Palms touch. Look at the thumbs. Nice, you've got it, good. Exhale, fold, nice and slow. Inhale, halfway. Yeah, you've got it nice. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, relax. Super nice. So let's try and do something for the legs. So I know we're already on a chair. We're gonna do something called chair pose. So it's nice and easy, this one, but um, also kind of killer on the thighs. So what you're gonna do is come to the very edge of your sofa if you can, if you're not already. Again, checking in with what the feet are doing, either together or just slightly apart. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna inhale, take the arms up. Imagine that we're holding a beach ball between the hands. And then when you're ready, we're gonna lean forward until you feel the muscles in the back engage. Good, you've got it nice. So just making sure you can just about see your tippy toes over your knees start to press your feet into the ground as if you're about to lift up so if you're already feeling it here and that's enough you can keep it there or if you want to take a big inhale and as you exhale just lift the bottom slightly off the sofa or the bed so that you're in full chair pose here so technically this is a proper yoga pose and not a sofa yoga pose but close enough <laughs> good so holding it breathe in Hold in, breathe in. Just hovering that butt off the sofa. Maybe you can just feel the cushion under the backs of your legs. Good, big inhale. And as you exhale, relax. Nice, that one, right? Good, we'll do one more. So just give yourself a little wiggle if you need it. And then when we're ready, we're gonna inhale. Arms up, hold the beach ball between the hands. And then big, big inhale again. Lengthen, and as you exhale, just fold in forward ever so slightly until you feel the muscles in the back engage. Again, press into the feet. Maybe that's enough. Or if you want to, big inhale. And as you exhale, just lift in the bottom, a couple of inches off the sofa. See if you can keep the breath nice and smooth here. Good, you've got it. And keep it going. Big inhale. And as you exhale, relax. Good, give yourself a wiggle and a curl here if you need it. <laughs> nice, nice and easy. Good. So let's see if we can incorporate some warrior poses onto the sofa. So again, you're gonna to need to be on the very tip of the sofa here as much as you can. So we're gonna take the legs nice and wide so as wide as feels comfortable here maybe you haven't got a lot of flexibility here in the in the inner thighs and that's fine but you're trying to get as much 
of a wide stance here as you can. So it's very easy just to let the legs relax here and we actually will go through uh, goddess pose first before we try out the warriors. So what I want you to do is pull the legs open using the muscles. So you've got some little muscles, if you just feel either side of your tailbone and you relax the legs and then engage the legs, you should feel those little muscles in the, in the bottom doing a thing. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to engage those as much as you can to pull those legs open. Nice, you've got it. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale the arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to cactus the arms. So pulling the shoulder blades together, little rhomboids between the shoulder blades pulling together and everything's opening out. Good, so keep it here, hold, breathe, engage as much as you can. Should feel really lovely. <laughs> if not a little crampy, but breathe, use the breath. Close the eyes if you need to and transport yourself to somewhere nice. Good, you've got it. A few more breaths, really pulling those legs open, really squeezing the shoulder blades back. Good, one more big breath. And then when you're ready, exhale, relax, give the legs a little wiggle if you need to. Good, you've got it, nice. So we'll try that one more time and we'll see if we can just lift the bottom a little bit. If you don't want to lift the bottom, you can keep the bottom on the chair. If you're just here for the chill. <laughs> Good. So when we're ready, engage, pull the knees open as much as you can. Engage those little muscles in the bottom. And then when you're ready, inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Good, so your toes should be turned out. Nice, you've got it. And then when you're ready, you're gonna see if you can press into the feet and lift the bottom, oh, it disappeared. You're gonna see if you can lift the bottom off the sofa. So it's slightly different, should feel slightly, ever so slightly different. A little bit more effort is in, uh, needed for this. Good, hold it, breathe. <laughs> I need a bigger room, right? <laughs> Good, you've got it, nice. Holding it here, breathing. Keeping those legs nice and wide, squeezing the shoulder blades. Big inhale. And as you exhale, sit it back down. <laughs> Give the legs a wiggle, nice. Not so easy this session. <laughs> Good, nice. So everybody, see if we can incorporate those warriors and then some side angles and a triangle, hopefully, if we can. So taking the legs nice and wide again, should know how that feels by now. Turning the toes out, so the feet are pigeon-toed, I think. Is that pigeon-toed or tenter two? Tenter two, I think it is. Good, so we'll take some movements with the breath and we should be able to feel it then in the tops of the arms here if we're not already. So we're gonna go to warrior one first. So we're gonna inhale, arms up, good. And as we exhale, we're gonna take the arms out to capital T and look over the right shoulder. So this should be a little bit like your warrior two. Good, you've got it, nice. So when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, arms up, press the palms together. Exhale to capital T and then looking over the left hand. So it's like warrior two on the opposite side. Good, nice, inhale up. Exhale, warrior two on the right hand side. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together ever so slightly, keeping the shoulders nice and low. Pressing it out for each fingertip. So imagine someone's holding each hand and pulling them further away. But you're still engaging here. Keep this bit engaged around the belly button. Keep the, the abs turned on. Good, inhale up. Exhale, opposite side. Again, imagine that you're sandwiched between two planes of glass, the upper body, maybe even the legs if you can. Maybe you've got a super awesome turnout and you're like practically doing the splits. Good, you've got it. Nice. When you're ready, inhale up. Exhale, right hand side. Nice. So we're gonna hold it here and breathe. Nice, you've got it. Top of the arm should be starting to get a little warm. You should feel like you're surfing. <laughs> Good, you've got it. 
Nice. So when you're ready, last one. Inhale up. Exhale, opposite side. Just feel like you've got the sun beating down on your shoulders. Nice warm <laughs> shoulders. Minus the the sun tan. <laughs> Good, you've got it. Breathe. Hold. Press those fingertips out. Good, inhale up. Exhale, relax. Wow. Nice. Good. So from here, we'll see if we can try our extended side angle or Uttita Parshvakanasana. And then our triangle pose. So you need to give the legs a little rest. You give them a little wiggle. You need a little drink like me. <laughs> and then when you're ready, bring the legs back wide. Again, engaging those legs a little bit, not as much as we did in our goddess, but engaging them just so they don't fall in. And then when we're ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can take our arms back out. Oh, it's not very nice now after they've been out for so long, <laughs> I know. Good, so from here, we're gonna see if we can inhale, reach over to the right hand side. We're gonna take our right elbow to our right knee if we can, engage the right hand, so don't let it just floppy, uh, go all floppy here. See if you can engage it, turn the palm up. And our left arm is going to come over the left hand side of our, of our face. Oh, you can't see me. There we go. Good. And we're taking a little side stretch here. So if you want to, you can look forward. Or if you prefer, you can look up under the armpit. Give the armpit a little sniff. <laughs> Good. So again, we're trying to keep that shoulder away from the ear. So we don't want to sort of rest the arm here over, over the head. We don't want to roosh that shoulder up. We want to keep the shoulder away and keep that left arm long. And again, we're not rounding down here towards the ground. We're keeping that chest open. Good, so Utita Parshvakanasana, sofa style. <laughs> Good, you've got it nice. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale up, capital T. Take a breath. And then when we're ready, inhale, reach to the left. Left arm comes to left knee. Make sure that left arm is engaged so we're not floppy. And then when we're ready, see if you can take the right arm over the right hand side of the face. You just feel it here in this fleshy bit under the ribs, sort of towards the back body. And again, looking wherever it feels good. So you can look under the armpit, up towards the hand, or you can look forward. But really reaching through that right hand. So we're not just sort of just chilling out here like, yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> we're you know, engaging, reaching, pulling through the right arm, but without pulling the shoulder up towards the ear. Good, you've got it, breathe. Notice where it feels, how it feels, if it feels at, at all. And good, you've got it, and breathing into that space. Good, one more big breath. And then when we're ready, bring it back through center. Give yourself a wiggle if you need it. Good, so we'll see if we can take that a little bit deeper now. So all we're gonna do is keep the legs out wide. If you do need to give them a little wiggle and a shake, go for it. But if we can, we're gonna keep them out for a little while longer. So pressing those knees open, we're gonna take the backs of the hands to the, to the insides of the knees. We're gonna take a big inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna slide the right hand down the right leg. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So you might be able to touch the fingertips to the floor. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're up here somewhere and you, that's enough. But if you can, without dropping off the edge of the sofa, you're gonna see if you can take those fingertips all the way down. And then maybe you can look up and reach the left arm up. This is kind of like a triangle pose if you were stood up doing yoga that way. But we're not, we're sitting, we're chilling. We're chilling, but we're stretching. <laughs> Good. So if you are up here, don't worry. Again, you should feel it in that fleshy bit underneath the ribs, uh, but it should be, feel a little bit more intense now that you're a little bit lower. Good, keep breathing. So the arms are in capital T. Nice. 
trying to keep the butt grounded as well. If the, if the left the butt is trying to pop up, we don't, don't let it, if we can help it. Good, so when you're ready, we're gonna inhale up. Take the hands back to the back of the knees. If you need to take a little wiggle, go for it. Good, so when we're ready, big inhale. Exhale, this time we're sliding left hand down the left leg. So I'm gonna come all the way fingertips to the floor. But you can come either half shin or anywhere that feels good. Open through the chest. And if you can, take the right hand to sky. Maybe looking at the right hand. If you don't wanna look up, it feels crazy on the neck. And you can look forward or you can look down. But more importantly, don't let the head droop. See if you can keep the head engaged here. Good, you've got it, nice, keep breathing. Keep the right bottom, bottom down, keep the right hip down. If it's popping up, pop it down. Good, you've got it, nice, keep breathing. And a couple more big breaths. Nice, then when you're ready, inhale, bring it all the way up. And then when you're ready, give yourself a bit of a wiggle and a stretch. Nice, so we're gonna see if we can take bridge pose. So if you've got an extra squishy sofa, just be careful on the wrist, you might need to make fists rather than having flat hands. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the, come, make, make sure you're at the edge of the sofa if you're not already. So bring the feet either, um, no, we don't want the feet together for this one, ignore me. We want the feet a little bit apart, so about a fist or two, so not touching them for this one, slightly apart. So you, your, if you look down at your hips, your legs should be sort of parallel there. So we don't want them flaring out too much and we don't want them bowing inwards. Nice and parallel like train tracks. Hands are gonna come behind the bottom. And then when you're ready, you're gonna inhale, you're gonna lift the chest, lift the chin. And so if you're happy here, you can keep it here. If you wanna go a little bit further, you can press into the feet and lift the hips off the sofa. So just find a place that's comfortable for the hands. Maybe you shimmy the legs out a little bit, the feet out a little bit, just so you've got that extra juicy bit to stretch into. So breathe in, slight back bend here, lifting those hips. And a couple of big breaths. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hips back to the sofa. And then when you're ready, maybe bring the elbows to the knees, rounding through the spine. Good, you've got it nearly done. Good, so when we're ready, I'm gonna sit back up. So you need to take a little wiggle here, you can go for a wiggle. We're gonna do a little bit with the legs, and then we'll take a super, Nice chill, a little guided relaxation just to finish us off. So when we're ready, we're gonna inhale. We're gonna take the arms up. And as we exhale, we're gonna see if we can bring the right knee up and in towards the chest and give it a cuddle and a squeeze here. And then when we're ready, if you wanna make a little swirl with that foot, you can go for that. Maybe there's some crunchy, creaky bits in those. Always nice when you get an ankle crunch. <laughs> nice. So when you're ready, you can keep it here if you want to. You can give it a little bit of a wiggle and a swirl if you want to. But what we're gonna to try to do, is we're gonna to try to see if we can take that ankle, the, le the right ankle across the top of the left knee here. So if you've got it, cool. If you don't, you can either, you can walk the left foot away just to lower that leg down a little to make it easier, or you can nestle yourself back a little just so you can get that leg over the knee. So don't worry about engaging the core here or anything. What we're after is a stretch in the hip and a stretch, stretch in the right buttock perhaps. So if you do have it and you want a little bit more, you can use the, the right hand to maybe coax the right knee away a little bit. Just be careful of what's going on. You don't want to overdo it. And if that's still not enough and you want a little bit more, you can maybe start to fold a little, rest the elbows on that shin and the knee, just to get a little, little bit of extra stretch in that right hip. 
and taking a few breaths into wherever you're feeling it. If at any point you do need to come out because it gets crazy, you can come out, that's fine. I know some people don't mind sitting like this, other people kind of find it a little bit uncomfortable. But I find it's one of those poses that if you do it often, it becomes really easy really quickly. Good, you've got a couple of breaths. So I really enjoy this one for some reason. It's one of my favorites. Good. Nice. One more big breath. And then when you're ready, you can ease out of that. Maybe bring the knee back in for a cuddle and a squeeze. You want to give it a wiggle and a curl. And then when you're ready, you can set that leg back down. So same thing, opposite side. We're going to inhale, take the arms up, stretch it out. Exhale, bring the left knee in. Give it a big cuddle, see if you can get it as high up into the chest as you can. Maybe it's only down here, but we want to aim to try and get it nice and high. Again, you can swirl the ankle here. You can maybe rock the hip around. And then eventually what we're going to do is we're going to try and set that left out and hip, no, it's not hip, ankle, <laughs> over the right knee. Good, you've got it. So again, finding a place that feels comfortable here in this one. You might find that one side feels a little bit different to the other. One side's a little tighter, one side agrees more than the other. And that's normal. It's just like being left-handed or right-handed. So if you're nestled back and you want to lower the right leg, if that's where you're feeling it, go for it. Once again, you can also always use the left hand to coax left knee away to get a bit of an extra stretch in that hip. Or if you prefer, you want to go hardcore, <laughs> you want to take it the whole way, you're going to start to fold a little with the upper body, rest the elbows on the leg and get a lovely stretch in that left hip, maybe a little bit in the left buttock. Good, you've got it. Keep breathing. Keep feeling. There's something quite nice about hip openers. They're just, and it's, it's like quite a deep, uh, deep and interesting feeling in the hips. Good, couple more big breaths. you've got it good so when you're ready you can inhale come up soften out of that one good so one little last leg stretch and then we'll start to think about chilling out zoning out so if you have got the space to do so if you've got a really big sofa fantastic if you have a smaller sofa like my little pretend makeshift sofa i'm going to get you to move over to the right hand side because all we're going to do is we're going to pop that left leg up onto the sofa so you might find here that you need to bend the knee a little because it's too tight on the hamstrings. But if you can straighten the leg, you can go for that. And engage the left toes to so pull them in. You can't really see through my cushion. But you're going to pull the toes in towards you. Good, you've got it nice. And you're going to see if you can turn the body, turn the hips to face that outstretched leg. So see if you can lengthen through the spine here. So again, we're lifting the hips, the ribs out of the hips. And we've got the chest facing towards the outstretched leg. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale. We're going to see if we can take the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to see if we can start to fold over the outstretched leg. So reach the arms towards the toes. It might not touch, maybe you're up here somewhere. Fine, go for that. But all we're going to do is try and find a stretch in the hamstring. So if you're finding that stretch, go for it. Take a few breaths. Always super tempting in forward folds, but it's some kind of um, instinctual challenge to have to reach the toes. If you if you can't, it's not a big deal. If you're feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, you you're there. You are there. So breathe there. Again, using the exhales to soften any tightness that you're feeling in the in the hamstrings, in the back of the leg, maybe in the back. Maybe you're tight in the back. Good, you've got it. So just notice where the hands are now. So wherever the hands are at the leg, see if you can grab that space. 
So if your hands are at the ankle, see if you can grab the ankle. If your hands are at the feet, grab the feet. If your hands are up near the knee, grab that area. We're going to take a hold of that area. We're going to inhale. We're going to lift the chin, lift the chest. We're going to flatten out the back. We're going to take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to fold back down. So maybe you get a little bit more out of the fold. Maybe, maybe not. Surely sending all your attention to wherever it is that you're feeling it in the fold, in the stretch. Good, you've got it. And then when you're ready, you can inhale and come out of that one. So we're going to do the same thing opposite sides. You're going to bring that leg down. If you need to, shimmy over to the opposite side. And then when we're ready, See if we can get that right foot and right leg up on the sofa. It's almost like it doesn't belong to you. Just lift and boop and drop. <laughs> Good. So pulling those right toes in, engaging the right toes, flexing the right foot. And then turn yourself to face that right outstretched leg. <coughs> Good, you've got it. So remember we're trying to remember we're trying to find some length in the spine here. Lifting through the through the mid middle bit, the fleshy bit here. So we get a little bit of engagement. And then when we're ready, we're going to inhale the arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to fold over that outstretched leg. So again, if you need to put a bend in that knee, don't worry about it. We're looking for that stretch in the back of the leg. And that is all. So taking a few deep breaths. Sending all your awareness, all your attention to that place that's saying, I am feeling it. Couple of big breaths. Nice. So again, noticing where your hands are, whether they're up here or down by the foot. Taking a hold of that place, doesn't matter where it is. We're going to inhale to lift the chin, lift the chest, flatten through the back. Take a big breath in when you're ready. And as you exhale, fold a little deeper over that leg. Taking it easy. There's no competition. There's no place where you should or shouldn't be. And just stretching, folding and breathing. Good. You've got a couple more big breaths. Nice. And then when you're ready, you're going to inhale back off out of that one and oh, release that leg. Good. You've got it. Nice. So get yourself nice and comfy. We're going to start to think about even reclining in our chair. Or if you want to, you can get onto the sofa and you can lie out on, uh, on your back. Or if you're on your bed, even better, you can lie out. Or if you prefer, you can get off and lie onto the floor. Either way, you're gonna get yourself into a nice, comfortable position if you need to get a little blanket, or you need to get a little cushion, or you need to get anything at all, a little drink or anything, go for that now. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna talk you through a nice guided relaxation for the next five, five or six minutes. So you can completely let anything else go before we Move on with the rest of our evening. And so wherever you are, and close your eyes if you wish. And just allowing the face to soften. Allowing any tense spots in the body to soften. And starting to bring your awareness back into the breath. And just noticing the inhales and the exhales. And be 
becoming more aware of the exhales if we can. And just noticing how the exhales make the body feel. And maybe you become a little bit more relaxed with each exhale that you take. Maybe you can send that relaxation down into the tips of the toes. And see if you can relax all 10 toes on the feet. And see if you can allow the soles of the feet to relax. The ankles, the heels. the calves, the shins, the knees, the backs of the knees, the thighs, the upper legs. And see if you can let those go, let them soften with each breath that you take. And see if you can allow the hips to relax the hips, the buttocks, the pelvis, the space around the belly button, the lower back, the middle back, the ribs, the centre of the chest where the ribs meet. The chest, the collarbones, the shoulders, all the way around to the upper back. And you see maybe you can allow the arms to become a little heavier. The upper arms, the lower arms, the forearms, the palms of the hands thumbs and each and every finger let's go and see if you can allow now the neck and the throat to let go the jaw the tongue the lips And allow the cheeks to become a little bit heavier on the face as you let go and relax and unwind. Allowing the eyelids to fall heavy over the eyes inside the sockets. And allowing the eyebrows to part and the forehead to be smooth. Allowing the back of the head, the scalp, and to relax. And allowing the inside world to let go, the mind, the inner organs. And just take it away, nice and slow, nice and relaxed. And allowing the breath to come and go as it pleases. No effort required whatsoever. And just a couple of moments to completely let go. Nothing to do, nowhere to be, no worries. And just you and yourself enjoying a space in time. you've got it so stay where you are start to think about bringing your awareness back into the breath 
and becoming aware of the inhales in particular. Noticing how those make the body feel. Allowing the inhales to invite a little bit of life back into the body. Maybe in the form of a wiggle of the fingers, a curl of the toes, a smile of the lips. Good, you've got it, nice. So when you're ready, if it feels good to do so, if you have the space around you, maybe you want to take a little stretch. Maybe you want to stretch the legs out. Maybe you want to stretch the arms out and lift the chest. Ooh. And then when it feels good to do so, if you're not already making your way back into a comfortable seated position on your sofa or on your bed or wherever you are. <laughs> Hello. So we'll finish off the same way as we always do by bringing the arms up overhead, bringing the palms together and bring them down through the third eye, towards the lips and down into the heart to remind us of peace, love, happiness in all these places, our thoughts, our words, our intentions. Namaste everyone, thank you for coming along and tuning in and enjoying this little semi-chill sofa sesh. <laughs> If you enjoyed it, I would love to hear it. If you didn't enjoy it, I'd love to hear it too. Um, you can leave feedback here once this is uploaded in a couple of minutes. Um, or you can head over to one of my platforms, which is Posse Yoga on Instagram or Facebook. That's P-O-S-S-Y Yoga. And you can let me know how you found it there. Um, you can also let me know if there's anything you want to do. I'm hoping that my next video will be on monday and i'm hoping to do a core session we can do lots of core stuff not on the sofa on the floor um yeah that's all for today so go ahead and enjoy your evening go and do whatever it is you do best <laughs> thank you for coming <laughs>